Hey, Jonathan, how are you? So let's see. Um, again, I'd like to open a whiteboard. Here we go. Okay. And get rid of that. Let's see. So I want to get up a... I'll just choose another color pen just because I'm tired of using the same old one. And let's talk a little more about... So in the last video... We talked about, I'm going to put percentages over here. And we talked about how 100% and 50% and 200% can be interpreted as the whole, 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 the whole thing, half or twice as much. And what I'd like to do is the first thing is just simply relate this to fractions because each of these ideas can be also expressed using a fraction. And uh, technically speaking, the number one isn't a fraction, but you could always say one over one, but for the sake of our simplicity, there's no reason to say one over one when we're talking about one, the whole thing. That's a fraction. The fraction one half expresses the same as 50%. I guess I'll just put these percents on here to make it really clear what we're talking about. And then 200% is two. So as you can see, larger numbers, they could be expressed as fractions, but sometimes fractions are really just whole numbers. Uh, for example, 300% which is three times as much, three times as much, I'll just say it that way, it's just expressed by the number three. And we can extend this, and I will extend it just a little bit, for some important other percentages. For example, uh, let's say 25% is equivalent to one-fourth. And you can see why 25 out of 100 means one-fourth, one-fourth of everything. Another important percentage is 10%, and that is equal to one-tenth. And then another important percentage uh, for purposes of, you know, just getting a few down here on the board, 1% is one-one-hundredth. So now we have a way of putting fractions and percents together and fractions and decimals are even easier to do. So let's just talk a little about decimals. And again, if, if I want, if I really am desperate to make sure that someone knows that I'm dealing with a decimal here, I can say 1.0. So 1.0 is one, and that's the whole thing. Uh, what is half or 50% as a decimal? That is. 0 0.5, we could just say 0 0.5. I like to put the zero in because that little decimal point sometimes gets lost. If you don't notice it, then you can make a mistake. If you put 0 0.5, there's very little chance that you're gonna make a mistake at uh, understanding that that is a decimal. There's a decimal point after that zero. Twice as much, when we're talking about 200%, 2.0, again, you could just put the zero in, don't have to, and three, point zero and then what decimal represents 25 percent well that's one fourth but the decimal resembles the percent more than it resembles the fraction so decimals and percents as we'll see are very similar two five zero point two five and that's not a coincidence and then 10% or one tenth is 0 0.10. We could either call this one zero or just call it 0 0.1 because those zeros at the end of a, at, on the uh, uh, left side, right, excuse me, right side of a decimal that trail out, those uh, trailing zeros are not needed. Uh, they don't, they, they just, they don't mean anything. They don't carry any value, but for our purposes, we'll, we'll use them for a while. And, Zero point, oops, 
let's see. I actually, hold on. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's good. That's good. We're, we're good here. 0 0.01. And this is 1%. And notice that we just have the 1 here. We just have the 10 here. We have the 25 and we have the 5. We could have also put a 5 point, 0 0.50 0 here. Um, and you can see how each of these percents that is less than 100%, kind of how these work. Let's see, I have to underline that. Yes. Okay. And so that's called a uh, fraction decimal percent equivalence. You find the equivalent values. It can get a little more complicated as the numbers get a little stranger, but the connection between fractions and percents is the easier of the equivalences. And then, so that's what I'll probably talk about in the next video, okay? Hope that made sense. You take care.